Ugh, today's been a long day at work. At least I'm finally home and I get to watch my favorite TV show when creepers attack on my brand new 3D TV. I can't wait to see this thing in 3D. So finally, home, get to watch Dread Creepers attack. Oh, David, he didn't say this was on the brochure. He didn't say this. I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh, no. Ah! Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my How to Build series where I show you how to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a, well, creeper death trap. Well, a TV creeper death trap. Hopefully my opening wasn't that cringy. I know I get pretty cringy at some times. Let's go ahead and look at this thing in creative mode. So here is the TV in all its glory. Now, you can actually turn it off by flipping up and down this lever. Obviously, you can hide that lever. But if we have it flipped down, that means we can turn on and off our TV without having to worry about and I don't know why there's this lighting effects happening. Hold up, let me just switch it to nighttime again. So as you can see right now our TV's off. So when I click it, boop, TV comes on and then TV will go off. And of course there's no creeper spawning because I have that lever switched down. However, if I have the lever switched up and the TV is turned off, and also if you notice during the whole little, little cringe fest I had going on, the thing closed up here so we couldn't get out of this area as well. So once I click this button, a lot of creepers are going to spawn in and the door is going to close up so we can't get out. So boop, creepers will start spawning in, door will close, and tons and tons of creepers will start spawning in ready to just explode and destroy any unfortunate soul probably your friend that is going to be okay okay that is enough creepers you gotta go away switching it to peaceful <laughs> okay so yes there's going to be a ton of creepers spawning in so let's go ahead and look at the redstone and this thing absolutely does work on pocket edition just giving a heads up there and works on pc as well i used the mono stable circuit that will work on all platforms but here's all the redstone guys and of course you don't have to make that door that closes in behind but i thought it'd just be a good touch to have that door close so then they will absolutely get destroyed by all those creepers so let's go ahead and start building this death trap guys and i think i just broke my ceiling yes i did all right guys so to get things started off with this build if you have the ability to do it i highly recommend switching it to peaceful mode while doing this if you're building this in another person's world and you're going to prank your friend who's the host of the world then you're just gonna have to be a little bit more careful if he has it set to easy or anything better highly recommend doing it on peaceful but like i said just be careful i'll let you know what you have to do just to be on the safe side so to get things started off with this build we're going to build our tv first so i'm going to be using hardened black clay for my tv colors you can use you know maybe obsidian or just wool black wool anything will do just make sure it's black for a tv Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out some bookshelves. Again, you can use whatever blocks you want. As long as it's a full block, I'm going to be using bookshelves. And then for our redstone to start things off, we're going to need a redstone lamp and also a dispenser. And then also we're going to need, of course, a painting for our TV itself. So to get things started off, place down four bookshelves like so. And then we're going to place in a redstone lamp right here on the left-hand side of the middle. And then place a dispenser to the right-hand side of it. Next up, take out your black hardened clay and wrap that around the entire thing. And that's going to be the outside of your TV so you can't notice anything that's going on right here in the middle. Next up, place a block right here at the bottom portion. And we're gonna place a painting right here off the redstone lamp. And we're gonna to have to get the Street Fighter painting. So I'm gonna skip through the video until I get that Street Fighter painting or whatever that is, just karate guys that are fighting. All right, guys, and I finally got the painting. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this block now. And now we don't need any of this stuff for... I'm pretty sure right now we don't need any of that stuff. Next up, we're going to take out some redstone. So we're going to take out a button. We're also going to need, of course, redstone. Redstone comparators. Redstone repeaters. Redstone torches. And let's go ahead and take out a block of choice for our redstone as well. So let's go ahead and take out uh, yellow and I guess maybe green for right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing over here to the backhand side so we can see everything. And then right underneath the block that has our redstone lamp, we're going to go right underneath it. Break down this block. And place a block right here. You can change the color if you want to. You don't have to. But I'm going to go ahead and place a redstone lamp. I mean a redstone torch right on top of that. And as you can see, our redstone lamp came on. Now what we're going to dig out is a pretty much a little 2x2 two two spacing and dig down 2. So boop, boop, dig down 2 like that of a 2x2 two two spacing. Then going into the block that has our redstone torch, we're going to break it down. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it. And we're going to place a repeater going into that block. Next, I'll place a block right behind that redstone repeater. And then to the left-hand side of this block, we're going to place in some redstone like that. And that's pretty much going to be the entire power source for your TV to turn on and for your TV to turn off. So let's go ahead and set that up first, and then we're going to go ahead and do our dispenser next. So then right on top of this block, we're going to place a redstone comparator going towards this redstone right here. And then we're going to place a block up right in front of the redstone comparator. Now we're going to set up our button up front, so place a block right here, and then place in a piece of redstone like that. Swing to the front hand side, and this is where our button's going to be going to turn on and off our TV. So when I click the button, boop, the redstone comes on and goes off. 
on and goes off. So now we're going to set up a mono stable circuit. This will turn on and off our TV. This mono stable circuit works in Pocket Edition as well. I wanted to make sure that this works on all platforms. So this works on console, Pocket Edition, and PC. So now what we're going to need for our mono stable circuit, we're going to need some droppers. So make sure they are droppers and not dispensers. It should say dropper and look like a happy face. <laughs> so droppers, and we're also going to need one hopper. So then coming out where this redstone is, we're going to break down this block and we're going to place in a dropper facing upwards. Next up, we're going to place a dropper facing away from the TV. So go into sneak and or crouch mode and place a dropper right on top of this dropper facing away from the TV. Next up, dig down one block right here and then going into the side of this dropper, go into sneak mode and or crouch mode once again and place in your hopper. So bloop like that. So as you can see, our hopper is going right into the side of that dropper. And now what we're going to have to do is face a dropper going downwards into this hopper now. So, you know, let's go ahead and just break down one more block right here like that. Take out our droppers, go into sneak mode again and place one more dropper facing downwards off the side of that one. And that's going to be our mono stable circuit. So we can make sure that our TV is working. So go inside this top one right here and place in one item, one item, any item doesn't really matter. Just make sure there's only one item inside this entire thing or it will not work. So let's go ahead and just place in, I guess, our bookshelf. So now when I click the button, our TV should go off. So when I click it, boop. The TV will go off. See, the resident lamp went off. And then when I click it again, boop, the lamp comes on. And that will absolutely work on Pocket Edition. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the only T flip flop kind of monostable circuits that's actually working on Pocket Edition. I haven't played it in a while though. So now that we have our TV set up, so right now let's make sure our TV is off. So make sure that redstone lamp is off. So click your button until the redstone lamp goes off. We want to make sure that redstone lamp is off just for now. So next up, we're going to do is take out our creeper eggs, or you can actually use whatever you want. You know, you can make cows spawn out of this, pigs spawn out villagers. Anything you really want to have spawn out of this thing, you absolutely can. You can even make it polar bears. <laughs> That'd be scary. But we're going to make this thing full on creepers because I like the creepers because they explode and I want them to explode and destroy everybody. So we're going to go inside of our dispenser and we're going to place in all of these creepers. Actually, before you do that, take them out. Take them out. Take them out. Take them out. This is, if you're doing it on peaceful like me, you don't have to worry about that. You can place them in if you really want to. But for people that cannot place it and you're doing it on a friend's creative world or whatever and you just want to scare them or something like that, we're going to go ahead and place a lever off the side of our TV just for now and flip it down. This will send power to that dispenser. I just hear that our dispenser went off. That will send power and keep power to that dispenser so none of the uh, creepers spawn out of it. So we're going to go ahead and now fill this up with all of our creepers now. So boop, 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 boop. There we go. Now it's fully, completely filled up. Now the reason why we want to do that right now is because once we place these blocks in, we won't be able to see that dispenser anymore. So let's go ahead and take out a different color. And we're also going to need our redstone comparators for this part, our redstone repeaters, and our redstone. So coming out from our dispenser right here, we're going to place a block right off of it like that. And then we're going to place a comparator coming out of our dispenser. Now, this comparator should come on. As you can see, it does come on because it picks up the signal from our dispenser. Next up, we're going to place a block right in front of it like that. And then three blocks going right back towards this lever block. So one, two, three, and then place redstone all along those blocks. Now, we want to make sure that this is in subtraction mode. So left click it or right click it if you're on PC to set it to subtraction mode. So that little front part right there should come on. So boop. as you can see, now it is in subtraction mode. Make sure you have it in subtraction mode. Now, what we're going to have to do is set it up so it doesn't turn on unless our TV is turned on. So we're going to have to send the power from this comparator up to this redstone right here, which is very, very simple. All we have to do is just break the block one away from that block right there and then place a repeater coming out of it. So as you can see, the repeater came on because our TV is off right now. And then we're going to place in a block right in front of that repeater right over here like this and then place in a piece of redstone. So now we no longer need that lever because now it's on no matter what. So once our TV turns on that means all our creepers are going to spawn in now if you don't want them to spawn in if you want to actually have it turn off just in case all we have to do is just send power to any part of this redstone any part of this redstone and it will turn it off so for me i'm just going to go like this i'm going to come out one more block right here i'm going to place my lever right here to turn it off so now no matter what if i turn on and off my tv the creepers won't spawn as you can see since that lever is up the creepers will not spawn no matter how much i turn on and off my tv so as you can see right now it's on and then when i click the button it will go off. So right now, our creepers will not spawn in. <laughs> I also have it set to peaceful mode, so no matter what, they won't spawn in anyway. But right now, they will absolutely not spawn in. Now, you if you want to, you're done. You're completely done. The TV is completely done. The creepers will spawn in. Now, if you want to set up like I did over there where the door closes and they get trapped in a small room with the creepers, stick to them. We're going to go ahead and build that portion of the redstone. So for this portion of the redstone, I built it seven blocks away from the TV. You can go much further. You can go much closer. You can go from one side. You can go to the other side. It really doesn't matter all the redstone kind of hooks together no matter what. So I'm gonna be building mine seven blocks away from the front of my TV because I like to keep everything symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So right here is where my door is going to be closing so they cannot leave the area. So we're going to need some sticky pistons for this portion of the build. So we're going to take out some sticky pistons and we're going to go ahead and just take down two blocks from here. So I already dug down one and you don't have to keep it symmetrical if you don't want to. It just annoys me if it's not symmetrical for me. So we're going to go ahead and just dig down two blocks, place two sticky pistons facing upwards with our blocks of choice on top of them so no one knows anything is there. Now all we have to do is just send power from the block that has our redstone torch over here, right there, over to our sticky pistons. But we also want our sticky pistons to not go up if we have it turned off. If we have it turned off, we don't want our sticky pistons to go up. We don't want people to know anything's there if we decide to turn it off. So we're going to have to bring our power from here over to these sticky pistons. So let's go ahead and change our color once again. Let's go ahead and change it to, I don't know, pink. Pink's fine. <laughs> so we're going to place a block right here next to this sticky piston off the left-hand side. I'm going to place a piece of redstone next to this side like that. Next, I'll place a repeater going into that block. So now if I send power to this, it goes up. And then we send it away. We'll go down. Perfect. So now, like I said, we're going to have to bring power from over here to right over here to turn it on and off. So let's go ahead and we're going to place in a lever. I mean, a redstone torch off the side of this block. And then what I want you to do is place a repeater coming out of that redstone torch. A block in front of it. And then we're going to go ahead and place in two pieces of redstone. So now when I turn on the TV, mm, boop, it will close it. Now, right now I have it turned off. So I don't want this going up. We don't want this going up right now. If that is turned down and no creepers are coming out, we wanna make sure that this does not go up. But I'm just showing you that it is working and click the button, it goes down. So now we're gonna set it up. So if we have it turned off and we have no creeper spawning, then it does not go up. So what we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna make sure that this block gets pulled backwards when this is turned off. So we're just going to dig out this area. We just want to be able to see this block right here. And we're going to bring the power from where this lever is. Now, like I said, wherever you decide to put the lever, you're going to have to bring the power from wherever you decide to put this lever. So I'm going to be bringing it right off from underneath it because my lever is right here. However, if you want to go put it in a closet or something like that, just remember, you have to bring the power to over there. So I'm going to place my uh, redstone right here underneath it. Then I'm going to place a repeater coming out of it like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place a block in front of the repeater a redstone torch off the side of the block and then we're gonna go ahead and place a sticky piston off the side of that redstone torch so now what we're going to do is break this block and place it right in front of our sticky piston like that so now when i turn on my tv oh that will not go up and when i turn it off that will still not go up so now everything is set up guys you are completely done i have mine set to peaceful mode so i'm going to just show you guys that everything's working without the creepers dispensing you'll still hear the dispenser go off but we're going to go ahead and flip this up so right now our creepers can spawn in. So when I click this now, boop, that goes up. And as you can hear, the dispenser right now is going tick, 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 tick. That means the creepers will start spawning in. You're going to get a ton of creepers and they're not going to be able to get out. So now we're going to go ahead and just turn this off real quickly like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to, uh, you know, first let's go ahead and build up the room. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my room. So I'm going to take out some dark oak planks because I just feel like that looks really good with blue. I always use a blue walling and I feel like the dark oak planks really uh, pop, make the blue pop. I don't know why. I just think it does. So we're going to go ahead and fill in our flooring like these all the way down. We don't have to fill it in right there because that's where one of our walls is going. So let's go ahead and fill this all in. Boop, 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 boop. We want to make sure that it is completely hidden. Nothing can be seen. We want to make sure our friends get scared. <laughs> so we're going to go fill this in. And I'm just going to speed up the video. You don't have to see me do it. All right, guys. And I'm back. And I got all my walls together. Right here is where the blocks will go up so we can get trapped in here. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. So I'm going to go quickly switch this over to easy mode like that flip up my lever so right now it is activated the creepers will spawn in the door will close and i have it set to creative still so i won't tie but just to show you guys that everything's working so here we go and i can't see it boop there we go creepers will start spawning in and once one of them moves they'll just start exploding all over the place and of course anyone who's in here on survival mode is gonna have a bad time because with all these creepers here anyone's going to have a bad time all right, guys, so now it's time to switch it to survival mode to make sure that it is fully working. You know, it's all for the greater good. <laughs> so now we are on survival mode. And, well, let's do this. Let's see if I can actually get out of it. If I click the button fast enough. And... Oh, you know what? I did not set it. I didn't set the trap. I forgot I left the game. Let me go and set the trap first. Bloop. Set the trap. I want to see if I can make it out of this after I click the button. Can I, can I do it? Can I click the button and go? Go, go, go. No, no, I can't. I can't do it. Please, no, creepers, no. No, creepers, no. No, creepers, no. <laughs> no, let me out of here. <laughs> oh, man, look, I actually survived. I got to... Well, there you guys have it. That is how you build a TV creeper death 
John, you're gonna die. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to YouTube my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.